All right, Fox Pie Guy here. We're going to do a couple videos of uh, building a uh, light show pie using a Raspberry Pi and receptacles and so on for Christmas lights. So I figured I'd try to break this down a little bit and uh, do a build from start to finish. So I'm using four of these guys, four plates, eight receptacles and obviously some hardware I have my box here <clears throat> that I'm going to use and this box here is a decent size uh, box and the nice thing is it has this secondary door on that opens up so I can fish the uh, extension cords through and kind of put a little roof over here with the door open because this will be up in the air so uh, I think what I'm going to do is mount the, res the boxes here like such so I can tie them all together come out over here and I think I'll mount my relays over here to a uh, channel solid state relays I already have holes drilled here for a pie that I was going to use for another project so I'm just going to go ahead and use the existing holes for the pie put it here relays I think here keep all my wiring coming out right over to my relays here uh, I can mount my FM transmitter up in here maybe or down here we got plenty of room then uh, we'll come up with a plug or something to come out for the main power and put a receptacle box in here so I can plug my pie and stuff in and the transmitter then come out of the uh, receptacle so I can supply main power to it so I'm going to try to do this the best I can doing a step by step uh, <clears throat> Like I said, I'm doing a 16 channel using eight receptacles. I could use 16 receptacles, but that's a little overkill, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is take these receptacles and on the hot side, the brass side, if you see here, you'll see it says hot, then your uh, white for neutral. So anyway, if you look on these receptacles, you'll see tabs on each side. And we're just going to cut this tab. So we have a leg here and a leg here. Then uh, I'm only going to use one neutral off of each receptacle. Since these are tied together and we're not going to cut them. So I can jump all the neutrals together. Technically, we really don't need to use the ground on normal Christmas lights your average LED Christmas lights or whatnot they don't have a third prong anyway for the ground so we technically don't need it but if you plan on using lights or whatnot that have the ground then I would definitely use the ground wire <clears throat> for added protection and like always when messing with electricity you definitely have to be careful and respect it so like I said, I think I'll mount them like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, line these up, drill some holes, mount them. Then I can uh, fish all my uh, hots and neutrals and stuff down through, come out over here. And like I said, since I think I'll mount my relays over here, I can come right out the bottom, right up to my relays. I could mount them here, but uh, I want to try to keep them away from all the extension cords in case something gets snagged or whatnot. So it might be a good spot over here, but we'll see. So anyway, let me uh, do that and I'll be right back. All right, so now I went ahead and I mounted my uh, boxes here. 
and put some plastic uh, snap ends in so the wires don't get shorted out against the metal. Went ahead and mounted my uh, 5 volt uh, power supply and my receptacle. So I'm going to have power coming in. Coming into here so I can plug my uh, FM transmitter in. Then we'll come out of there with power to power the power supply, which is going to power the Pi and the relays. <clears throat> so uh, the next thing to do is work on wiring up the uh, receptacles. And uh, with the uh, lids that I'm using for the boxes, I got to take these tabs off so it'll look like this. So it'll fit in there. Then I'll have a screw here and a screw here that came with the lid in order to uh, hold the receptacle in place. Then that'll go down and set on top of the box and two screws will hold that in place so that's the next thing so what I'm going to do is come off of here with uh, a black <clears throat> for the hot and since uh, we need to cut this tab here so it'll, it'll make it like channel 1, channel 2 and so on so we'll need to snip this little uh, piece of metal right there and then on the uh, neutral side I'm only going to use one screw because of uh, we're going to let this jumper here then we'll just daisy chain these together with the other receptacles you could run separate wires like we need to on the hot side but uh, I think we'll just daisy chain them <clears throat> a couple of them together and have a couple separate wires so so we're just going to use some forks terminals like this and uh, screw them down onto that that'll hold them nice and tight in place I have these and I just take the uh, insulation off because I, I like soldering the wires on so it uh, It'll definitely hold. I know it might be more work and time consuming, but won't have to worry about the terminal falling off. All right, so uh, we'll work on that. Stay tuned for part two for uh, that step.